good. All right, sweet. What is up, guys? Welcome to another Okiru podcast in collaboration with Lace Kicks. Today, we have two guests from the US. We got Toreen and Elijah. If you guys want to introduce yourselves, please do. Who's going first? Colts, go first, buddy. All right, you got it. You got it. You know it. So, hey, guys, I'm, I'm Colts Nation 87. I go by Elijah or Eli. Either one's fine. You can find me on Instagram under Colts Nation 87, also on Twitter under the same same thing, Colts Nation 87. Just so happy to be a part of the Late Kicks family. Thanks for having us on here. And, and uh, you know, we want you guys all to listen to these podcasts and, and just kind of hear about the subjects that we're all, you know, pretty in tune to when it comes to sneakers and mental health. So just enjoying the time being with you guys. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. All right. Colts Nation also insane sneaker collection. I'm no, telling y'all right you. now. Thank the you. man's thank ones you. are insane. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, like, I gotta jump in. I gotta jump in real quick. True fly, you have like the greatest fits, man. I go over to your page, I'm like, man, this guy is just I appreciate too that. cool, thank man. You. I love it. I love it. You're always, always fly, man. I love it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. <laughs> so it's your boy T. I represent Shoe Fly TV, man. Um, you can check out Shoe Fly TV on Instagram, Twitter. I have a Facebook page, also YouTube. I do reviews on all the sneakers that I personally cop. I also do reviews on the latest in sneaker protection, like sneaker shields. Um, I, I used to do um, reviews on Crep when the product was actually decent. So, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, you can catch me on any of them platforms. Like I said, Shoe Fly TV, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Catch me on all of that, man. Awesome. Thank you guys for coming on. It's a blessing, especially with the time differences. Like, you know, thank you for taking the yeah. time out of your day to jump on with us. Thanks for um, having us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Um, Privilege. I guess like you guys were talking about before we come down, like these new releases that are coming up. Do you want to unpack that a bit more? And let's, let's, let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like, I absolutely. So shoe fly. Go, go ahead, man. I, I want to hear, I didn't go for the, uh, for the Kobe's, but go for it, man. I want to hear what you had. I want to hear what you got to say. I want to know like how okay. it went. Cause I, so, I, I heard, I heard on the outskirts. I heard the outskirts, but I want to hear more, man. First off, I just want to say, I don't think, I don't see light at the end of the tunnel with this sneakers app ever. I'm going to start it off that way. So, me personally, I almost never win on this app, dude. Oh. I don't know what it is. And I have been collecting sneakers since the 90s. And even since the app's inception, I've been using the app, but I don't know why, but for some reason... I, it's hit or miss for me. Like mm. if it's something that's a general release that there's a lot of pairs of, I might hit on that. But if it's <laughs> anything remotely rare, your boy ain't getting it. It's not happening. Yeah. So Same. with that being said, I for sure thought that I was not going to be selected for this Kobe Mamba Cita six release. I'm like, there's no way I never win anything. No way they're going to pick me. <laughs> I go to open up my phone that morning at 741 exactly. Yeah. I got selected. Damn. And I missed it yeah. because I was 100% sure in my mind there was no way that I was getting access to this. And like and it's the culture of that app that did that to me. Mm. Yep. Mm. And it's disheartening that so many of the, um, like the shoe in itself, the day it came out, went up to 700 bucks. Yep. Currently right now, I think it's hovering around 1500 or so. Wow. For my size. And for me personally, that is disgusting. Yep. Because this man's legacy and what he means to a lot of people, I'm not even going to sit on this app and act mm. like I'm the biggest Kobe fan. Like, I just loved him, like, mm. but at the same time, the same reason why I went out and bought his jersey and certain sneakers that he played in is because I respect greatness, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's a piece of history. That's yeah. what sneaker collectors, I feel like we do. We collect history. Yeah, Exactly. So with that being a piece of history and me – not being able to obtain it because the culture that Nike has built with this app, mm. it honestly, it's one of those things, man. It's like, 
a lot of people say like, you know, delete the app. I honestly, I never do. I never have deleted it, but like this was yeah. this release honestly really, really, really hurt, man. That yeah. it yeah, it hurt me to my core to not be yeah. able to obtain mm. the sneaker. Cause I would have never sold it. I would have kept it. And yep. like to see the resellers and the people who were able to get their hands on this and them reselling it, man, it just makes me sick, dude. Mm. Yep. Yeah. No, and and um I, yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I didn't look to see if I got selected. I did. I did I, after I kind of saw all the news coming out and everybody tweeting about what had happened and everything mm-hmm. went out. I did. I did go check my phone. I wasn't selected. No mm-hmm. surprise. Um, yeah. But but the thing is, shoe fly and, 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 and there were so many others that also seemed like to me. I saw so many tweets on on, on Twitter on, on on Instagram. So many people were posting about how they had missed it. They had gotten it, but they missed mm-hmm. it or they didn't know. And yeah. I really do think it, I think it goes back to exactly what you said though. Is that they're so callous and so despondent over that app because it's like you never get selected you never you try to go on there and buy a shoe you can't it makes your whole day kind of just feel dreary and down and depressed yeah, because yeah. it's like god it's a shoe you really want so why would i ever think i'm getting exclusive access when i never get it anyways and absolutely and, it, and then you go on there and look and, so, and sure enough you did so that makes it hurt even worse you know because yeah. it's like wow i did get selected and then you don't get it so it makes you feel even worse and yeah. i don't think <laughs> She, you know, she doesn't, she can only do so much, but Vanessa Bryant has been very outspoken about all this. She's like, you know, mm. I don't want this to be a shoe that's going to be resold. I want people to get it into the hands of the people that want it and that really cared and that really loved Kobe and all this stuff. Mm. I don't, and, and, and it's exactly, it's not happening. And it's the same yeah. thing. It's like, it's going up $1,500 on, on StockX or go, give me a break. You know, this is not what Kobe would want. I know he wouldn't want it. And she doesn't want it either, but I think it's out of her hands. You know, she can't, she can only control so much, but yeah. oh, it is. To chime least, into that. Because that's yeah. an excellent point. I feel like with this particular release, though, they were already made, so there was nothing she could right. do about it. She mm. could do. Yeah. As far as the, the numbers, how many sneakers were able to release, this wasn't something that I don't think could she could have had her fingerprint on because the sneakers were already made and ready already to go. Made. Yeah. So, so right. in her defense for this release, I oh, would yeah. say that part, but like, it's crazy how you hit the nail on the head exactly how I feel. Exactly yeah. how I feel. Yeah, because I, I know, I know, I, and the reason why is because I've been there. I, I've been there yeah. exactly where you're feeling. I, I've missed it. I've missed EAs before. I've missed, I've, I've hit auto, I, I've missed out on drops. I would tell you, there's probably, there's, I don't even, the, the, the amount, if you went into my phone and found out how many times I open up the sneakers app anymore, it'd probably say it's the least or rarely used at this point yeah. because I just don't, because I know I'm not going to get anything. So I end up going to Goat or StockX and just, Paying the bill, you know, yeah. and I hate to do it, but it's where it goes. You yeah. Know? Mm. So with this, I will say that yeah. there's always the flip side of things and there's always the beautiful side of things that happen. Right. I saw a lot of people that got this sneaker Same. that are actually wearing the sneaker. Mm. Sneaker, yeah. I've seen so many tweets of people that I feel like were deserving of this sneaker yeah. who got yep. there and when they came in straight defeat and i'm so proud to see that and so happy to see that as well yeah no absolutely and i, I the same I, I would have to say the same thing i for the amount of times i've seen people say they didn't get it or they missed ea i've seen about probably maybe about the same get saying that they got it which is amazing you know and that's yeah great, you know and, and but it's it's it just it, it's hard it's hard it, and it leaves you and it kind of leaves you feeling numb and depressed and bummed because mm. the sneakers are part of my life it's part of people's lives you know shoe fly it's all you know it's a big thing that we are into yeah. and, and and it's and it's a hobby that we love but it's like if you can't get it and you see everybody else get it, it just hurts it hurts yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Yeah, it you know does. it hurts it i don't know yeah. what else to say it just does you know and it, it doesn't make you feel good that's for sure and i i don't know i hope it changes but it doesn't i agree mm. with you i don't think it ever will it doesn't seem like it anyways yeah So what I took away from it, though, is like celebrating the other people's W's and then also realizing, you know, what I'm saying, especially with the Kobe situation, like life is short. It's just a shoe. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's honestly just a shoe. And like this month, I want those red nines. I want those navy blue sixes. It's on to the next one. (laughs) Yeah. You take you take your. Your L's with certain ones, man. It's gonna be another one that comes. So I'm I'm back right. on the hunt again. So it's not like you know 
Yeah. It, it, it should never be that serious. Like, I'm not going to lie, mm. that day, you weren't talking yeah. me out of my funk the day of. Right. Like, I right. just kept looking at my phone and looking at that picture, and I'm like, damn, I really got selected. But yeah. <laughs> here we are today, and honestly, I'm over it. No, I know. And, and good for you for moving on because it's not easy. I, I've been, yeah. I've been, I've been sour for probably a good month on a couple <laughs> pairs, but yeah. I, again, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep rambling on here, but I do want to say in, in, in with what you're saying, because mm. you made a really good point. It's just a shoe. And yeah, yeah. I don't ever want, I don't think whatever should happen is what just happened down, down at the odd mom in the air store where I believe it was a security guard that got shot or something like what? that. That should, it should never ever come to that point it is mm. just a shoe it is just a material shoe yes it has a meaning yes we all love it yes there's mm. history but don't ever let it get to that point you know it's just yeah. not worth it not worth it so That's crazy to chime in on that for those who do not know about that situation yeah that store they took a sledgehammer to the back did you see the pictures of that i, I didn't see it i just read the news they i just heard took- the news a sledgehammer to the back of the store to try to break through the wall what? of the back of the store. Oh my God. So it went that far. So then security comes and sees them doing that. And then unfortunately that's when the person got that's shot because they came yeah. checking on what these guys are doing. But it's like, mm. it, like to your point, like, are you, it's a shoe. Are you, yeah. that, it's a shoe. It's, are you insane? Yeah. Like you're taking a sledgehammer to the back of a building for mm. a shoe right yeah unbelievable me, I, and like i said i've been collecting since the 90s that is almost the most radical thing i yeah. that's like super villain worthy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. no really <laughs> like like a like sledgehammer to, to the back of the building like that's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm insane it's not never should come to that don't don't mm. ever let it come to physical violence or you know physical property destroy whatever it might be it's just mm. not worth it and you see it too much you know with these big drops and these releases and these people get in line and i love being in line to wait for things i've done it before it's amazing you get to meet a great people but sometimes those crowds just get too much and it's like Ooh. guns go off and it's like no no this yeah. is just a shoe yeah. guys this is a shoe you, as much as we love it you are on point my friend because <laughs> absolutely the line should be for making connections mm. it yes. should be for net we're here for it it should mm, be here for it. Yeah. to get to know the local people in your area that are also collector. It, it's supposed to be something that creates friendships, not fights. Mm, right. Yeah. Right. In my personal opinion, because a lot of the times, especially like I said, since collecting back then, a lot of these lines that I've been in previously, like I developed friendships and mm. knowing people off of being in line with these guys all the time to the point where even sometimes they're like, oh man, T, hey, come, you can cut me, bro. Like, I know you ain't my size. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I don't want you all, I'm not going to let you stay all the way. Like, come on and just come in front come of me. Like, up. I got yeah. you. Good like, for you, man. It should be that type of environment. It shouldn't be like, oh, you cut me, let's fight. Or people yeah. bum rushing <laughs> the door, running right. over each other. I mean, I know you guys have probably heard about the um, previous jordan 11 releases oh, they're yeah. running over moms yeah yes. like yeah. Yeah. yeah it's too much it doesn't need to go there no absolutely not yeah that's crazy man yeah that's crazy yeah um how so you guys you've been collecting for quite a while now and you've you know you said the importance of being in these lines is to build those connections build those friendships and network how has that changed since you started to where it is now to me, and I'm yeah. sorry, Coast Nation, I, I feel like I'm no, don't. The spot. no, 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 listen, let me, let me just, let me just speak real quick on that, you have been doing it a lot longer than me, so I'd actually love to hear what you say, okay. man, so you are, I, I'm bowing down to you, man, you got, you got the experience, you're my guy, no, but you, go for it, you also the man, don't, no, man you, got, too. you go, man, I, so, hear man, I love it, I love it, with, you guys are with so that humble. with me, honestly, it's the same as with retail shopping, mm. The digital era has changed everything Mm -hmm. because we basically went from standing in line, first come, everything was first come, first serve. Yeah. Yeah. Then we went from first come, first serve to wristbands to try to organize it a little bit. Then we went from wristbands to the reservations and the Mm -hmm. um, apps. And to me, 
it's completely on. It's gone. Those yeah, type yeah. of relationships, the state, it's it's obviously gone because all you have to do is go into an app that might give you the opportunity to purchase the sneaker. But it was like if you went back in the day and you were first, second, third, fourth, fifth in line, mm -hmm. you knew you were getting that sneaker. Yeah. You yeah. knew you had a guarantee. Like now it's like I fill out this, it's just like it's um it's it, the human aspect of it and the the human element of it. It's been taken away. Honestly, mm. it's like, like every everything's through the phone now. So it's yeah. like you don't get to yep. develop those relationships because you're walking into the store. You show them your reservation. They bring it out the back. You check out and leave. Mm. Yep. So yep. it's not the same at all. They have definitely um, dehumanized the entire process. Yeah. Right. And it, yeah, and that's, I, I agree with everything you just said. I, I think you're, you nailed it all. I, I it's, it's been, I, I will say, you know, with, with the, with losing the, uh, going to like a brick and mortar store and waiting and all mm. those things, you know, kind of losing that, that thing. It is nice that social media has kind of, social media is great in a lot of ways, but it's so bad in some ways, because I do feel yeah. like you kind of lose that human connection, Absolutely. but also I have with, with my time on Instagram and when I finally made my account public and all that stuff, um, I've met so many amazing people. I mean, people that are, I'm shoot fly TV right here, right here, literally right here. I mean, this yes, guy sir. is amazing. <laughs> and and I, I mean, I'm, I'm, here we are with Lace Ticks family. I'm meeting Lace Ticks. We're talking to him. We're doing stuff. He's in Australia. It's unbelievable what has mm. happened. And I, I mean, I enjoy every minute of that aspect. But then it's it also has those negative things where you do run into a lot of people that are just trying to flex or they're trying to just be like, oh, hey, buy this from me or hey, do this with yeah, me. And it's like, yeah. no, no, we're not here for that. We're just here to build a team and, and to mm. build a community. And that's that's what, so in that sense, it's changed a lot in that way. So a lot of good change, but also a lot of bad change that comes yeah. along with it, you know, but that was beautifully said, beautifully <laughs> said. That <laughs> is, <laughs> that, likewise, but, bro. Likewise. And, and to that and to add to that point as well, it's like, I know that me, myself personally, just by having a conversation with somebody, even if it's honestly through us messaging each other and stuff like that, yeah. I honestly, I, I can tell if you're genuine or not. Yeah. 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 And I can and I and I feel like the people who are more successful and will be more successful for the longevity of things are gonna be are gonna be the people who are more genuine, mm. are gonna be right. the people who are more real, man, because people want to surround themselves with that. Like yeah. they're with all the negativity in the world, you just wanna yeah. be around something positive. You want positive. to hear something yep. positive. Like yep. you want positive feedback. Like if I switch my laces, like if you don't agree with it, all like the the yeah. classic <laughs> way to go about that is like, you know what, like like nice pick. Like if you don't mm, like yeah. the the laces, just like like the pick or something, but don't mm, like, yeah, I right. would never put those laces <laughs> no, in that <laughs> shoe. That looks horrendous. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You must have like it's like some people just go out of their way. Mm. Their way, yes. To, to hate and it's just like dude like yeah. why are you so miserable hopping on my page yeah. like just exacting right. that like that hate especially for you know people who don't do it to other people you know like I, yeah. like we need yeah. more positivity in the world we definitely I, I definitely like like yeah we're we're in a place right now where honestly the world's not in a good place and mm -hmm. right like I, I i just feel like positivity definitely needs to be fed into the world a lot more so with that with the aspect of what you're saying it's definitely excellent that we get to communicate with people around the world right. and we get that aspect of it because mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's beautiful that's wonderful like yeah i never thought no. i'd be chopping it up with people it's about sneakers in australia like that's so dope same same here i love it i love it and, and that's and that's it too and I'm, I'm sorry i don't mean to cut in again here but i was gonna no. say i've gotten i've gotten the same exact thing as shoe fly is talking about i've gotten like i posted a picture i posted on twitter and instagram those are my main things and i people will just they'll comment and they'll say like, hey nice pick hey nice work thanks thanks mm -hmm. you know i appreciate it and then some people straight up just say like that shoe's ugly and i'm like yeah. i'm like and i you know i can't help it i can't help it i just gotta write back and say hey i appreciate the feedback you know i'll, I'll see what i can do <laughs> you know but it's like 
I, the same thing, it's, there's so many different ways that people can also just go about that and say, yeah, it wasn't really the shoe for me, but I, you know, great shot of it or whatever. Or if they don't mm. like the laces, just say, hey, you know, it came with this other pair of laces too. You might want to yes. try those and just see how it looks to see if exactly. you like it. You know, but, it's, but instead, they got to say, the shoe's ugly. No, I'll never drop those laces in there. Forget that. Okay, that's fine. That's your opinion. That's fine. But you can, you can do it mm. in a lot nicer way, you know. Mm. But yeah, that's it's it's that's 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 that social media aspect again where it's like some people are just great and some people are like wow okay you're just kind of just trying to tear anybody down that you can Mm. not worth it on that note though i will say (laughs) and i'm gonna say it if you utilize social media you know social media you use it you know twitter is like the village of the (laughs) 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 damn it's like like, i do I have never seen so many miserable people where they oh, literally all they do is dedicate their day to trolling people. So when you yeah. said like get it on Twitter, like I do post stuff on Twitter, but if I already just expected to be coming from that place, just because yeah. like I yeah. never been. The sad it's- thing is that. Some of it's entertaining, actually. <laughs> no, it is. No, dude, it's it's like a lot of people. A lot of people comment. They've been commenting recently. They can't believe this. I can't believe this app is free because some of the stuff mm. is so hilarious on there. Yeah, and the people get so fired up and riled up over stuff, and it's like, whoa, guys, just whoa, slow down. We're just we're just people. We're just all people here. We're all just trying to make exactly. it. It's like it's. I, I tell people like the people don't come on very much, and like, well, I'm not really on there. I'm like, well. You know, if you do come on, welcome to the Thunderdome because it's just a wild place to be. <laughs> oh, man. Instagram's a little more civil and calm down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. man Good like, times. <laughs> man, like, uh, it, it's a, like what Elijah was saying, like, it's a blessing to be able to be connected with you guys all the way from U- the U.S. Yeah, and to absolutely. have these discussions, you know, like. And yeah. I, I see you guys, you're just constantly edifying each other. You, you guys are so humble. You, uh, you walk with humility just from like my first interaction with you guys. And it's just like, wow, we need, you really need more of this in the sneaker community. Um, absolutely. It's like, yeah. like what well, you guys are saying. thank you. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like you, I, you guys are saying, you, you know, you see a lot of those guys who just like say all this hate for like, why? Like, you can not worth it. say it in a, a way that isn't so negative. You know, you can provide feedback without attacking people, you know? Absolutely. Um, right. So I, was like, I guess the question that I want to ask is like, how can we encourage more sneakerheads, people in the community to be more positive and to encourage each other like you guys are doing to each other, to one another? Yeah. And I, so if I open not mind if I jump in, but I, I, I don't, no, it's absolutely. hard thank you it's hard on social media because you can it's hard to you got to come off as when you say things on social media people never know your tone of how you're saying it or if you're saying it sarcastically or angrily or happy it's kind of a hard thing you can use emojis to try to specify that or define that but it is hard my thing is it's like I've had, and, I, and I'm not saying it's the right way to do it because mm. my way is a little bit, it is a little bit kind of on a sarcasm end, but I'll, you know, like somebody will say, Hey, that shoe's ugly. And I'll say, Hey, thanks for the feedback. And I've had a couple of people come back and say, like, I, I, you know, they didn't say, I'm sorry, but they said, it, you know, it just wasn't the shoe for me. And I'm like, Hey, mm. I totally get it, man. The shoe just isn't for everybody. I said, I love it, but it's not for you. I totally get it. So I don't know if it's like things like where you could just kind of get, you know, it's kind of that the saying from, from the Bible is a soft answer turns away wrath. And it's like, you know, you just kind of like yeah, go back to him and say, you kind of just go back and say, Hey, I appreciate the feedback. You know, it's like, that's mm-hmm. not saying anything mean. It's just saying like you acknowledge what they're saying. Yeah. And then if they come back to you, and I've had people come back and literally just be like, yeah, it just wasn't the shoe for me. I'm like, man, I totally get it. I totally get it. There's mm-hmm. shoes out there that I just did not like, you know, but yeah. and it seems like maybe it just made them stop and think for a second. Mm-hmm. Like, Hey, you know, my response was a little rough. You know, maybe I could do it nicely the next time. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's the way I sometimes try to do things, but it's not always the best. <laughs> yeah. But to tie into that, I I got a few things myself personally. Mm. One, buy what you like. To to his yes. point, he liked it. So if yeah. the sneaker wasn't bought for you, the picture was posted for people to look at. But at right. the same time, I bought this sneaker with my hard earned money because I liked it. Right. Right. I didn't buy it for your approval. Mm. I right. didn't buy it because I want you to like it. I bought it because I like it. I'm just sharing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And then but, I think also too, yeah. with a lot of us older sneakerheads like me being an OG, we I feel like we gotta stop gatekeeping. 
mm-hmm. and stop being yeah. so negative towards the younger generation of collectors, especially like, you know, with them not knowing everything and mm-hmm. like, you know, you, you got somebody that's like, oh, you see those ice blue 12s? Those are obsidian 12s. Don't you call them that? Like, you know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, you know what oh, I, mean? I know like, exactly what you mean. <laughs> Like, don't talk about those black toe ones like that. The original ones came mm. with a black tongue, not a white tongue. Those <laughs> aren't the original. Like, That's right. Yes, I love it. Yep. And, and it's like stuff like that. I feel like that type of stuff needs to stop. It's like, okay, like mm. there's ways to educate. Like, hey, man, that like those black toes are nice. But did you know that that original pair back in the day, that actually came with a black tongue instead yep, of a white then, tongue? Imagine how much cleaner that would look. Yeah on yep. these as opposed to trying to shove people knowledge down people's mm. throats in a negative manner you know what i'm saying yeah. or like right. just because you don't know a colorway like you know back in the day when those released in 97 they were actually called the obsidians not the ice yeah. blues but that's a cool right. nickname right uh-huh. and to that and to that right there you go right there i didn't I'm, I'm new i'm a lot newer into sneakers than a lot of people and i didn't know that about the black toes right there. i remember i got my black toes with the white tongue i think it was 2016 2017 i posted them people say hey that's a great show i love that shoe i'm like yeah me too it's such a great colorway and then one guy wrote on there he says i love this shoe i said i wish they would have done it with the black tongue and i'm like i stopped for a second i'm like i wrote back to him I said these used to have a black tongue he's like yeah the og had a black. i'm like i didn't know but it was his it was his nice response to that that maybe educated me and mm-hmm. it was like I didn't, I didn't know, you know? And so oh. I, I, it was a long time ago that it happened, but I was like, that one person saying that made me like realize, I'm like, I checked it out. And I'm like, sure enough, it sure did, you know? Yeah. Did you check out the, so crazy thing is that's why the beginning moments pack that black toe. That's why that one had a black tongue. Okay. Cause yeah. it was copying the original. And that's why the yeah. 2016, they wanted to separate that one from that one. So they right. put a white tongue on that one but like that beginning moments packet that's why that had a black tongue because of the og wow see i didn't know that either see that's and that's where the thing is that yeah i there's 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 if people can just give a soft answer or give a nice answer there's a lot of things you can just do like Mm -hmm. almost like i don't mean to say like an education moment but in the sense of a shoe history it kind of is an education moment realistically it is it absolutely is and you're gonna take the information with me giving it to you kindly as Mm -hmm. opposed to me checking you you're not going right. to take me checking you very well. That's like, yeah. dude, who the hell right. do you think you're talking to? Like, right. dude, like, I'm like, okay, you may have this many sneakers or no sneakers, but dude, mm. I collect sneakers. Like, like, you can't act. That's why they're like, Jumpman Bostich. I don't know if you ever had a conversation yes. with that guy. Yes, love him. For him to have the collection that he has, I have never seen somebody so humble. I Yes, I know. I, that guy, I have not talked to him a whole lot personally. He did a live once and I kind of chimed in on a couple of comments, but he is, I've seen his videos. He's, first of all, his, his collection is just absolutely, I just won't, I just don't even know what to say. Like you, you see, show, he goes through with his phone on a video or whatever he's using. And it's like, dude, this looks like a museum, but also like you're, it's like, it's incredible. Like what he's accumulated. And then he's just like the most humblest dude you'd ever talk to. It's like, he's just so, he's always so calm and he's always so mm-hmm. kind to everybody. And I'm like, dang, man, this is, this guy is who I want to be. This is my hero right here. Literally. You know, it is mm-hmm. the sneaker national museum. Unbelievable. Like it's so intimidating seeing video yes. of that room. It's just like stuff that I'll probably never see in my life. Mm-hmm. He just commonly Same. has in Same. his, yeah. and the way that he, talks expresses himself like yes so unlike other people i'm not gonna name no names because that's not in my i don't do that type of stuff i I met several people at sneaker con and these guys were i'm i didn't (laughs) even want to be around them i literally had guys at their table set up like you don't know who i am i know exactly who you are so who you are is supposed to make me act a certain type yeah. of way. Like, why, why would I act like that when you're talking like, like, dude, yeah. so because I'm standing by your table, I'm supposed to like, like I'm <laughs> yeah, supposed right, to like right. bow to you <laughs> yep. Or, or, yep. or something at this yeah. point. Like, I, like, like these guys are so full of themselves and this particular individual, I know he don't have half of what Jumpman Bostich has. Right. Yeah. 
and look yeah. at how yeah. Jumpman Bostage acts mm -hmm. compared to this other guy. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It, and that's why seriously, I say no. people recognize real. They recognize genuine people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, seriously. And I just want to throw it in there. And I know I, we don't give off a whole lot of plugs, but seriously, if any young person, older person, anybody that's listening to this that really wants to get into shoes, or if you've been into shoes, go follow Jumpman Bosket. Absolutely. You may not always, you may not be able to talk, but seriously, just go scroll through his page, check out what he's all about. He's a big advocate for mental health. I know that. Mm -hmm. And then two, he's just his his collection is just absolutely. It's like it's like heaven. His his whole thing is heaven to me. Like I can't even I can't even say it. Man, it's just it's insane what he has. Amazing. You would not be able to pull me from that room. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I would like, I just need, I just need a couple days in here. Just need to catalog yes. everything and touch it and look at it. I'll put it back and then I'll leave. But just give yes. me a couple he, days in here, man. Yeah, he's like one of those guys when I come to you to the museum. It's like, would you like a guide? And I'm like, yes, I would love a guide. Could you please Absolutely. escort me around and give me the history of everything that's Absolutely. in here? Absolutely. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah. Please keep your voices down, please. <laughs> oh, God. How big is his collection? It's, it's insane. Unbelievable. I, I don't even know what I don't even know how many pairs he has, but it's not just pairs that he has. He's got all these other things, all this other memorabilia from Jordan, jerseys, um wow. old cereal school boxes. jumpsuits. Yes. Like, and then how he, he has like <laughs> rare player PEs like Quit when yes. Quentin Richardson and Rip Hamilton. We're like yes. this dude's in collection is yeah. It, I can't, I, yeah. It, it's almost you, you you go through just if you just literally go on to type in jumpman bostic on your instagram it'll come up just give that guy a follow just scroll through in some of his videos and he just goes through quietly goes through his things and he'll be talking it's unbelievable his collection it's like you mm. can't even he has so many pairs that you can't see them all because it's like the screen can't capture it all almost for wow. sure for sure yeah he, he's, wow. he's he's just an amazing person seriously seriously go follow jump man if you guys are listening seriously love him oh absolutely absolutely yeah wow anyway um also i want to be mindful of time because lace kicks told me yeah. we only have 40 minutes together um sure. but like i'm just loving this conversation with you guys and now i'm Same. just like wow with this sneaker culture that you guys are part of like it's so amazing you guys are just always uplifting each other and i really want to talk more about it with you guys and to see what yeah. how else we could help in the community um yeah but i guess i had all these other questions i want to ask you but one thing i always like to ask, ask any sneaker is like what is one sneaker that got you started or why is it that you started collecting sneakers what, what yeah. got you into that yeah shoe fly go for it man if you want to start so um I was blessed to be able to do the shoe palace, uh, my closet situation. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you haven't seen it, go check that out. <laughs> oh, I will. I don't know. Um, Where is it? Is it on your YouTube? Um, it's not on my YouTube, but I think I, I, I pinned it on my, um, on my highlights for my Instagram page. Oh, like, okay. I'll check it out. How long ago? But, but one of the sneakers, the sneaker that first started, me off like really really collected because I obviously I was born in 82 so I had J's yeah. when I was little my mom sure. aunties they mm. all but of course you know those no I didn't keep up with any of them but right. the, the first sneaker I remember I wanted and I was like I'm gonna take care of the sneaker the low top brave blue 13s the black and blue ones wow mm. love it and I remember but, I cut grass all summer to obtain this sneaker. Sheesh. All <laughs> summer. It was like, you want, you want these sneakers? You better keep this long up. I cut. But luckily, my stepdad plugged me. So he not only did he buy me those brave blue 13s, he bought me the Chutney 13s as well. Wow. Wow. And awesome. it was over for me ever since then. <laughs> And I went back to yeah. school and got the reactions. It was over. It was done. <laughs> yeah. I'm Amazing. like, I'm wearing J I'm wearing J's forever. Now. <laughs> That's, yeah. I love it, man. I love that. Um, so for me, I, so again, I, I'm a little more, I'm a little more new into it. I, I kind of didn't really start collecting really seriously, probably till like 2015 or 16, which mm -hmm. is, I know like five or, you know, well, seven years ago at this point, I'm getting old. Both um, great but, years. Both <laughs> great they years. were, they were definitely, but I, when I was a kid, I, I grew up watching Mac, Mike, Michael Jordan because my dad was from Chicago. We always watched the games and just obviously 
such an incredible player. I mean, I, I mean, we all know, you know, it's just, but I remember when I was a kid, we were, had just moved recently to our new house. We still had our, our TV on the floor. We had little rabbit ears coming off to get some reception. And I was watching with my brother on the couch. I was watching MJ play the flu game and he was so sick and, 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 and all these things. And I, it was unbelievable that he pulled out that win. Mm. And ever since then, I, I never forgot that game. And I'll never forget sitting there just like, oh, just being in awe of this guy out here and Pippen trying to hold him up and help him get him off the court after the game was over. Unbelievable game. So the shoe as much as I'm into ones, the shoe that really got me all into it was the flu game 12s. And I still have them in my closet. Unfortunately, they are the newer version. I would love to get like an older pair of it, but it's a newer version of them. But it's a shoe, even though that I'm into ones, I will never get rid of it because it has such a deeper meaning to me. And I'll never forget sitting there on the couch, just literally the TV was kind of fuzzy, but I'm just like, this is insane that this guy's pulling this off and he's so sick. I couldn't believe it. And then, I mean, you know, the rest is history with MJ. He's just, I mean, he's the greatest, he's a goat to me forever. But um, yeah, that that's my story. That that's me and getting into shoes right there. Amazing, amazing. Honorable um, mention: the bunny ears on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. I'm over there. We're trying to get. I'm trying to get the I'm trying to lose this. Way. I can't miss this game. This is history now. I knew. I knew. I didn't know it was history, but I knew I was watching something amazing yeah. at the time. You know. Yeah. The fact yeah. that you mentioned that though is like the struggle that came with that. I can't even yeah. imagine you watching that. <laughs> oh game. man, we had just moved. My parents didn't have any money. We're trying to get. You know, we, we finally ended up getting like cable or satellite or whatever the heck we got at the time. But I remember at the time we just didn't have the money, and I'm trying to get like rabbit ear reception. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Hey. But I was able to see the game, which was great. I'm only laughing because I'm. <laughs> I've been through it too, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know I feel exactly you. what you're talking about. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. Now it's so easy to do anything with technology. Yeah. But yeah, man, that was, that was, those were the days right there. Yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah, man. That's so For beautiful. Sure. That's so beautiful. Sure. I love how sneakers can create those memories. And oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. They will last, they will last a lifetime. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for, for sharing that. So yeah. as we wrap this up, I'd like to ask you guys three questions as yeah. we always do for our podcast. So the three questions is what are you grateful for? What have you realized or some a realization you've had? And what is the question you want to ask yourself or the people listening? Right. Um, I, I'm sorry. What was the second one there? I missed it. I think I'm uh, sorry. what, what have you realized or what's a realization you had? Oh yeah, absolutely. So what I'm grateful for, um, you know, personally, and, and even, even with, you know, world, you know, with, with the social media, I'm just grateful for all the connections. I'm grateful for the family that I have, you know, close by to me, but I'm also grateful for the family that I met on Instagram. And I, I get people reaching out to me just on DMs like, Hey man, just checking in on you. How you doing? Yeah. You know, stuff like that. It's amazing. I don't, I've never met this guy in my life. I've never met Shoe Fly, but he's the most amazing dude ever. <laughs> Seriously guys, go follow Shoe Fly. Same he's to you, buddy. Amazing dude. <laughs> he's a, so OG. He's so cool with his fits, but I'm just like, everything with, that he's got but i just saying like just some great connections great people and and I, i'm so grateful for that um you know the uh the, i'm sorry and I, forgive me the second question was again i'm so sorry um what have you realized or what's a realization yeah, you've had right yes i'm sorry so what i realized oh, good. um you know for, first of all it's as hard as it is for me i, I feel like i'm a little kid sometimes that i want every jordan one that comes out <laughs> You don't, have, you don't have to get every shoe. Mm. Not every shoe is going to be amazing. Not every Jordan mm. one is going to be a hit. You know, some of them are going to flop, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and don't, you know, for the kids that are out there that you're just trying to save money or trying to go to school, definitely focus on your school and do that. Mm. That's important because when you get your school done and you get the degrees, you'll get the money to buy all the shoes you want. So focus on the things that are important right now. Yeah. And I, I, I have to tell myself that every day. Um, so I always realize that. And things that I would want to see, like ask a question for myself, uh, or for, for my viewers or for the viewers, um, you know, you know, what do you, what do you want to see, like come out of like, you know, out of the shoe culture in general, mm. do you just want to see it continue like it is, or do you want to, I mean, I'm sure we don't want to see it improve or, but I mean, I just like to see, like I, for myself, I would just like to see like, what can I do to make it better? Mm. And I, you know, and try to, what can I do as, as hard as it is on social media to talk to people because it is that digital age, but I still feel like there are ways I can do it, but what can I, how can I question that every day to make myself do better for that person? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Love it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What about you, Torin? So speaking with uh, mental health and everything, mm. something that probably a lot of people wouldn't even know um, about me. One of the things that 
or the thing actually that I cherish absolutely the most is my family. Mm -hmm. Like I go to work every day for them. I love them. I love my girl, Kim. Shout out. Love you, boo boo. (laughs) Um, My daughters, Brielle and my daughter, Kiwi, my youngest daughter, she actually was born with a a rare genetic disease. That was a terminal disease that she had to have a bone marrow transplant for. Oh, Oh, wow. So she, and she almost passed during that bone marrow transplant. She, um, oh my God. Had to get hooked up to a um, dialysis machine. Mm. Ventilator was doing the breathing for her. And the thing that that made me realize is that um, God is good, man. Mm. Yeah. God is good. Right on. My, um, my baby, two or three weeks ago, just started walking, man. Wow. Congratulations. Congrats, wow. Man. Started that's walking. big. And with everything Dude. that's um, happened with her and, like, you just realize, man, mm. like, don't live your life negatively, man. Don't take any day for granted and just try to be as positive as you possibly can, man. Like, cause I, like I said, even with the Kobe situation, you never know when your number is going to be called and you, you never know the situations that other people are dealing with and just try to spread positivity, man. Mm. Like I said, Mm. man, I, I know, I don't want to sound like a preacher or anything, but like I said, I just know and I realize God is good, man. You know, mm-hmm. I, I feel like my baby is alive today because of a higher power. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right on. And, yeah. um, I would just say, you know, we just need more kindness in the world. You know, mm-hmm. if you're at a register and it's asking, would you like to donate the rest of your change to this foundation? Do it. It's change, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. 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 It's change. Yeah. And I know for us, a lot of that stuff was huge for, my daughter being able to get the medical care that she needed. Yeah. So like just, just spreading positivity, man. Like if you have a chance to help somebody do it, man, because mm-hmm. someday yeah. you might need be the person that needs that help. Yeah, and help. Um, it, it goes yep. a long way. You just don't understand. Like seeing the other families that were in that hospital and stuff like that, like, like help yeah. when you can help yeah. when you can. Right. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no, seriously. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Wow. Thanks so much, guys. Like, thank you. It's, it's an appreciation yeah. to be able to chat with you and have this conversation. And, you know, being the first time meeting you guys, like, it was a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Likewise. We appreciate Likewise. you too, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, we can have another another chat again. It will be nice. We to will have another chat. Again. Oh, we will yeah. have another chat. Let's we do. will. <laughs> we will. I love it. Let's do it. I love it. Thank you guys yeah. so much. I know you guys, it's getting late over there. So I'll let you guys go. Thank you for so much for spending this time with us and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. You too. Yeah, Lace kicks, man.